Hey, yo. Before we even get this video started, I just want to let you guys know that you guys can interact with me personally on my socials at Simply Ginny on the gram and at Ginny Turgot on Snapchat. All right, so y'all go follow those up. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button so I know. Show me some love real quick. Hit it for me one time. And yo, subscribe. There's a lot of y'all not subscribed, bro. What are y'all waiting for? Anyhow you guys proceed this video without subscribing, disappointment. But yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say, so. Let's get to the video. Feel me? Yo! What is good, YouTube? It is Simply Ginny, and we here with a new one, Matt. And this one, yo, I believe this one is a gem. A gem. I've been looking for videos like this for so long. I still haven't found it, so I was like, forget it, I'm taking matters into my own hands. Might as well. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how I ice out my hats. Look at these beautiful, oh, oh, that glisten. Yeah, I'm gonna be telling you guys how to do this. I gotta give credit where it's due, man. Ice cap teal. Plug. You guys are doing your thing, bro. This video is definitely inspired by you. These hats, I definitely took inspiration from y'all. I mean, I had to step in and kind of take matters into my own hands because I can't lie, y'all are pretty pricey. But I understand, I, I totally understand. I might even start doing this myself, to be honest. All right, so we're gonna have a little vote though. We're not really a vote, we're kind of a guessing game. You guys are gonna guess which hat I'm gonna ice out today, all right? I'm probably gonna ice out both of these hats regardless, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna let y'all figure out which hat I'm gonna ice out. Nice. So y'all got two hats to choose from. I'm gonna give you guys like 10 seconds to kind of guess which one. So prep yourselves, cause the timer kind of starts now. So the hat that I'm gonna ice out for this video, drum roll. With this baby right here. Aww. I hope you guys guessed right. I've been wanting to ice this one out for a minute. This, of course, was the first one that I wanted to ice out and I kinda had to get that one done. So, you know, this is definitely up next. So we're gonna meet y'all downstairs and we're gonna get this video started, all right? All right, y'all, so these are all the products you need to actually execute this look to ice out the hat with finesse. So first of all, you're gonna need a fitted. Actually, it doesn't even matter what you use, whether it's a ball cap, a beanie, that's your preference. Whatever you wanna ice out, that's on you. And of course, you're gonna need some glue. I prefer to go with this glue because it specifically says that it bonds jewels. I was just like, ah, whatever, I'll just buy it. So it's like $7 on Amazon. And then of course, you're gonna need some, some crystals. You know, these are the clear crystals. And the crystals that I used on the other hats were these colorful ones. It just makes it pop a little bit more. And then the, the products that I bought, it actually came with some other options, some more colors. So I prefer you guys to actually buy these or this set of uh, crystals. And I'll put the link in the description. Got it all off of Amazon. And then of course, <laughs> I almost forgot. Of course, you're gonna need some, I actually forgot what this was called. Tweezers? I don't even remember. But yeah, you're gonna need this to actually pick up the jewels and put it on that on the logo or wherever you want to put it on the hat but for me i'm gonna put it on the logo so i would advise you guys to get a little paper towel so you guys can uh, put the glue and your crystals on it so it's just easy transfer first things first what i'd like to do personally i don't know about anybody else is kind of just size out the, the crystals on the logo to see which one is gonna uh, work best so we kind of did it here so we know that it's gonna take two of the biggest <laughs> crystals it doesn't even matter at this point it's gonna take two of the biggest crystals to kind of go around the whole logo so that of course is at the end yeah i mean we could really just put the glue on the paper and let's just get straight to work yo i would also advise you guys not to put too much glue because your product will dry out depending on how long you actually take to transfer the crystals onto that oh, it's just a little something something for me just a little bit of advice because you know it, get, it gets a little difficult as well you might get ticked off a little bit but hey it's worth it in the end so So one more word of 
advice when you guys transfer at least I would say two to four crystals. I would say to wipe off your tweezers or whatever this is called because the glue is gonna build up and it's gonna it's gonna make the crystal stick onto it. So it's gonna be hard to even get it off when you're putting it on. It's gonna mess up everything and it's just gonna be annoying. So I would just advise you guys to wipe off your, your, your stuff. It just makes life easier for you. example of what happens when you don't wipe off your stuff. Why to meet? Okay, why to meet? As y'all seen right there, I just got too much glue on my logo, so it's gonna like, it's gonna just look weird. Some, some glue might actually get on top of the diamond. What I normally just do is just wipe off some of the glue and just transfer it to another place where I would put another crystal, or I would just take it up and wipe it off. So y'all keep that in mind as well. Another word of advice, when you guys apply your crystals to, to your hat, make sure you press down on it either with your tweezers or with your finger gently because uh, of course, you want the glue to actually set onto the gem and onto the, the fabric as well. Or the stitching, my bad. You don't want your gem sticking up or any of that. If you come like this and then your gems fall off, especially in a position like this, like in the middle or at the top in the middle, even like right here, it's just going to be irritating. So I'm just letting y'all know from now. 20 minutes later. All right, y'all. So I realized that I'm basically at the middle of finishing this hat. I mean, it looks pretty good right now. You know, especially from the from afar yeah this looks nice but i realized um if i continue with the same size that this peak is kind of going to be left out so that's when you of course use your different sizes of your crystals and kind of make that fine detail so yeah i'm about to really just make those fine details right now so we'll catch y'all when this is done mm. can't go wrong with a griddle ball Hey, bro, this is work. I need me a break. Mm. That's how it's looking, by the way.
this angle that I'm at right now is so difficult. I'm really trying my best for y'all to see this whole process right now. So, yo, make sure you hit that like button, bro. This is effort, real life effort, all right? Y'all know BKE, but y'all don't know me. So this right here, this my story. Uh, hype and froze so many times, feel like I'm stuck in winning. In my young days, wanted to grow up and be a winner. Wanted to show the cool kids that I could roll with them. So I say steady, roll it, roll it, roll it. Down the rabbit hole, feel like Alice in Wonderland, where all the lights go. Rapping to all my people, it just got so cold. I'm clicking on my heels, just trying to go back home. No, no, no. That's where he found me. Trying to please people looking for my identity. Never realized all the things he done for me. He was always around, never gave up on me. Let's act like my life was a TV series. If that's the case, then let's go back to season three. That was when the devil really had a hold on me. Girls were breaking my heart, they were cutting deep. Couldn't make it out the door. Lucy had me stuck. Falling in love with a girl just for her to mess me up It happened girl after girl, I was never enough To this day, sometimes I think a girl could never love me But I thank God cause he brought me through it He told me Yo, family, what is good with y'all? Thank y'all for reaching to the end of the video You guys made it If you guys genuinely enjoyed this video, I ask that you leave a like You know, it helps the video, it helps the channel grow So, I mean, why not? You feel me? If you actually like the video just like, you know, comment if this is something that you would actually do to your hat. Comment if I helped you. If this was educational enough, let me know. I love the interaction. So y'all, y'all talk to me, man. Talk to me, bro. If you guys also want me to do this to your hats, if you're local in the GTA, I'll at me on my socials. I could probably get the business done depending on how close you guys are. You know, hopefully you're not far. But, you know, we'll see what we could do if you guys hit me up. I can't even lie, bro. After finishing this, I was like, Maybe I should have done red crystals on it. And maybe I should ice out the back, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys think I should have put red crystals on it, tell me in the comments if you think I should have kept it this way. Let me know. I'm definitely doing this to probably like two more of my hats. I don't want all of my hats to be iced out. When it's a basic hat, you gotta add some flavor, man. So juice up your hats, bro. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I really had fun doing this, I can't lie. like. I love getting creative. I really enjoyed making this video. You know, just doing the hat, doing all my hats, even though it took time. It took time. I loved every single minute of it. But yeah, I really think that's about it, you know? <laughs> I want to say that I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Make sure y'all stay up, stay cool, stay calm, stay blessed. Love from Ginny over here. We out of here. I'm a